Ay, ya te traje el banquito para que vayas ahí y te puedas sentar ahí. Hello, Francisco. Hello, good evening. Hi, we will start in two minutes, okay? Oh no, in one minute. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Just give me one more. I'm waiting here. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful, yes. We're gonna just wait for a couple of few more people so we can work, okay? Okay. Let's see here. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was in mute. <laughs> I was in mute. How are you? Estaba hablando como loca y no me veía. How's your day, teacher? Very good. And yours? <laughs> good too. Yeah. Very good too. Yes. yes. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah. Did you have a busy day? Yes, it was a, a short day. I oh I don't feel the time. Yes. Nice. For me it was a long day, a lot of work. Uh, yes. I'm still working, but <laughs> but you feel long, a long day. Yeah. Like a long day. Yeah. Yes, because I start at 6 a.m. So it's, it's actually longer. Yes. Do you work after class? The, Me? The conference? Um, no, I work in the morning from uh, from 6.30 a.m. until 4 p.m. Uh, but, but always online? Mm, something like that, yeah. Online, okay. right? I, I work with American people every day, right? So it's a little bit of online work. Sometimes I do what Melvin does. I send emails. I I talk to people also, but with people that lives in the United States. But you you not work for from home, teacher? Yes, yes, I'm working from home. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, right now yes, but mm -hmm. my yeah in my office they want us to go to work, uh, you know, to the office. And nobody wants to go. <laughs> and nobody wants to go. So let's see what happens. Right? Because nobody wants to go, you know, to the office. Are you going to the offices or are you working from home? Uh, sometimes. Uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, I, I stay in home. In other days, I go to, to the office. Oh, yeah. so it's like, uh -huh. I was telling, uh, that was like what Corina says, it's like co-working, like sometimes, some days you work from home and some other, day, some other days you work uh, in the office, right? So not everyone is there, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, hello Corina, how are you? How are you? Good Fine, evening. saying good evening. Good evening. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hoy va a dejar participar a Melvin. No. Sí. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, okay? Okay. 
Nah, para romper el hielo. <laughs> Now, we're going to start because we have three people. We have Juan, Melvin, and Corina. Just allow me one moment here so I can open the computer. Okay, the, the, the PowerPoint. Okay. Can you see my laptop, my, my computer? Not yet? No, yet. Okay, give me one moment. Okay, let me see here. Let's close some doors. Hello, Veronica. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Now, what about now? Can you see? Yes. Okay, yeah. wonderful. So today what we're going to do is that we're going to continue with Unit 3, right, which is Human <coughs> Resources, right, Procedures. So that's what we're going to do right now, right. And we're going to uh, continue developing the competencies and we're going to start with video conferencia numero 12, writing and understanding procedures, right. So for this, we're going to start working with some activities, right? We are going to do a lot of practice today, but let's see. The first activity that we're going to do is it says here, what activities from human resources, from HR, can you remember using the following words? Do you remember these words right here? Do you yeah. remember these words? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, yay. Okay, very good. So what are the, like, some phrases that you can remember? Let's see. Is that the cry, the cry um, employee? Recruit new employees. Employees. Recruit new employees, okay. Recruit new employees, that's one activity. Very good. What's another activity from HR? Right now, we're going to do just speak. Okay, so what would be another activity from HR that you can remember using this? And Melvin says, recruit new employees. Very nice. What would be another activity? Resolve work conflicts. Resolve work conflicts. Okay, very good. Resolve work conflicts. Very good. <coughs> what else? Melvin, Juan, Edwin. Uh, give training. I don't remember. Give training. Give training. Okay. Give training to employees. Mm. Very nice. Give, give training, give training, to, training employees. to employees. Exactly. That's can, that can be one. It's the answer question companies, policies, policies. Okay. Answer questions about the company's policies. Very nice. Okay. Reference. Okay. Teacher, very, very fit. Uh -huh. And, and reference the, the job. Verify. Okay. Verify oh. references. From, reference. From previous jobs, right? Okay. From the previous. candidate. Can, candidate. Okay. Very good. Okay. From candidates. Ver Can, verify. Candidates. Kind verify, right? Verify information from candidates, uh -huh. right? From candidate. Okay, very good. That's nice. Candidate. What else? Interview job candidates. Hello, Maria. Interview Hello. job candidates. Very good. Interview job candidates. Now, these are the things that we need to remember all the time. And this is the vocabulary that we are going to use when we are talking about activities from HR, okay? Is that clear? Yeah? Any yes. questions? Okay, very good. Now, what we're going to do right now, let me stop sharing. Hi, right, hello, hello. We are going to start working right now with this other activity. It's still 
right? We're working here. Yesterday, you had to read, you know, some um, reading from the book, from page 30, right? So what we're going to do today, I'm sorry. What we're going to do today Hello. is that, <laughs> give me one second. Okay, there we are. Okay. Let me share this with you. Now, Edwin, can you help me, help me out and read the instructions for this section? It says read. Read the information on the HR personnel on page 30, then answer the question below. Very good. Now, Francisco, can you please read the questions? Which? All of them. One, one two, two, and three. three. One, two, and three. <laughs> okay. Number one is, what does the recruitment coordinator do? Number uh -huh. two, what is the recruitment coordinator's experience? Number three, when does the recruitment coordinator work? Work, very good. These are three questions that we're going to read based on this reading, right? This is on page 30. We're going to work right now. These questions are only about whom? About the recruitment coordinator. So that is the information that we're going to have on the first on the first square, on the first paragraph, this paragraph. Recruitment coordinator, and we have the information. Then we have benefit specialist, and then we have talent management and human resources generalist. Right now, the questions that we're going to answer are about the first, the first one. Okay. Now, since you already read at home, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to make small groups. We're going to work in pairs. So you can start working in answering the three questions. Like I said, right, the questions that you're going to work with, these three questions, they are on page 30 on your book. Do you have your book with you? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. So let's start working. Are you ready? Do you have a question? No. No questions. Okay. No. We're going to do that part right. Sorry? Maybe no question. Allá en el grupo. As usual, in Spanish. ¿Qué pasa? Okay, well, let, let's see. Let's see what happens, okay? Let's see what happens. And in the meantime, I will send a message to your classmates that we are working in groups, okay? Let's start. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let us go. Please join the groups. Uh, let me see. What does the recruitment coordinator do? It's a bachelor degree. It's okay, teacher. Okay, bachelor's yeah. bachelor's of arts. Bachelor what? Bachelor of arts. I'm gonna put it here on the chat. Bachelor's. Sorry. Bachelor's of arts. Of arts. Ah, Bachelor of Arts. Mm -hmm. That's a licenciado. That's what we do. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, only, only give a uh, answer to the to the question or practice these required. Answer yes. the question. Yes. Answer the questions right now because. Supposedly you read at home. 
Super ba? I'm working every every day. <laughs> uh, what does the recruitment coordinator do? Is uh, organize uh, organize uh, school, organize a school of candidate interview. Okay, I don't know. Is that correct? Opens and post requisition mm -hmm. requisition requisition requisition. Lengua la traba teacher. Um, a mí también. <laughs> coordinator, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> coordinator inter, internal um, in, uh, internal and la experiencia. Yes. Okay. In my company the es experiencia. experience it's a G five five years. Uh -huh. Hi. Hola, <laughs> uh, Sorry, Corina. What is the recru rec recruitment coordinator's experience in your in your job? Uh, five years of experience. In, sí, in similar charge or in, in human research charge? Sí, yeah, el, 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 el uh, recruitment coordinator. Okay. Uh -huh. Y uh, they, um, tra hay un word in, in, en grupo, ¿cómo lo puedo hacer? Vaya, que, ellos trabajan en un grupo, pero el que coordina tiene que tener mucha experiencia. De... No, ok, no, o sea que el que reclutamiento the, 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 no es solo una persona. The, the boss, Ajá, the, the, hay, hay un grupo, depende de qué unidad. Manager. Ajá, como manager. Manager, the, 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 the word teacher. They, the the, uh, the, exactly. Like um, Sandra says, right, they work as a group. Yeah. Right, they work as a group, but there is always like a leader. A leader. Oh, There's always okay. a leader. Telling the others what to do exactly. Okay. It's a leader. A leader, yeah. And Corina, when does the recruitment coordinator work? Uh, I am going to ask that question. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, teacher, we're going to practice the Okay, uh -huh. perfect. Okay, okay, Edwin, recruitment coordinator. Okay. Bachelor's degree organ organizes a schedule of candidate interview. Uh -huh. Open post rec uh, how, uh, how do you say what is, what is requisition? What is the pronunciation? In, let me see here. That's on the first. No, uh, he's, he's going to say the other word. Give me one second. Requisitions. Requ Opens and pass requisitions. Requisitions. Re Re okay, okay. Requisitions. Open and pass requisitions. Requisitions. Requisitions, exactly. Requisitions. Requisitions, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Coordin coordinates internal and internet job postings, has a degree in, in management, work with a support a recruit team, has five years of experience, work on weekdays, work part-time. Uh, yeah. Edwin, uh -huh. what does the what does the recruitment coordinator do? Well, uh, the recruitment coordinator do organize sketches of, of candidates interviews, opens and post re, re, requisitions, and coordinates internal and internal job postings. Okay.
for new can candidates. Okay, schedule. Yes, they're, they're organized, the, the schedules. Uh -huh, um, for candidate, for candidate. Yes, uh, in my company is she. And she selects uh, a little groups to take the second interviews. Hacen como tres pruebas para quedar ahí. Okay. Entonces, she group. selects a small groups to, to call the people and make the second interview. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Okay. Uh, two. Um, what is the recruitment coordinator experience? Um, I think uh, in my company they they have to to know about similar um, similar charge around five years of ex of experience. Yeah. In in okay. uh, no problem to work with more than one hundred. Okay, okay, so let's see what are the answers that you have, right, for these three questions here. Mm -hmm. Who wants to start with the question number one? Is everyone here? Yeah. Question one, who's there? Who's there? Who wants to start? Sandra? Veronica? Okay. Number one. Number one, what does the recruitment coordinator do? Maybe I think the organized schedule of candidate interview opens and posts requisitions, coordinate, mm -hmm. coordinates internal and internet job posting, has a degree in management, bachelor degree. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember that this, this, this question is about the activities, right? What does the recruitment coordinator do? So what are the activities that he does? Do you think that um, having a degree, right, is an activity or is that experience? Experience. Uh, experience. Uh, it's experience, right? So again, uh, Veronica, what does the recruitment coordinator do? What are the activities that he performs every day? Okay. Organize. Organize a schedule of candidates interview. Okay. Opens and post requisitions. Requisitions, okay. Uh -huh. Coordinate internal and internet job postings. Okay. Uh, works with a works with and supports a recruiting team. Okay, very good. So give her an applause. Very good. That's perfect. Veronica, that's the answer for question number one. Now choose another person, Veronica, that can help us to answer the second question. Uh, Melvin? Melvin, what is the recruitment coordinator's experience? Melvin, are you there? Melvin? Sorry, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I I told you <laughs> that I think has a degree in psychology or on management. Okay. Um, has a five years of experience in similar charge or okay. yes, in similar charge. Um. Mm, no problem to to work with uh, 
with people to, mm. to express with people is that is that the information on this remember that right now maybe we're working with this only only with the first right now yes only with the first okay. Okay, no problem to work on on weekdays and available to work full time. The okay. most are are working in full time. Okay. Is that maybe what you just told me is that part of the experience? No. Exactly. No. Right. What, what is the experience? For example, if you ask um, Maria, Maria, huh? what is your experience as a principal? Not as a teacher, as a principal. One year. One year. Very good. Now, Maria, what is your experience as a teacher? Uh, 20... A, a... 28 years. Okay, 28 years. Very good. I'm going to ask you another question, Maria. When does the principal work? I I work on weekend days. On weekend days. Weekend day. Weekday. Week Weekdays. Days. <laughs> Weekdays. Weekdays. Very good. Very good. Weekdays. So very good. Thank you, Maria. And thank you, Edwin. Okay. Now, Melby, again, my question number two. Yes. What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? Um, based on based on the reading. Yes. Based on this. Um, have five years of experience. He has five years, has of, experience. Five years of experience. Very yes. good. In, in, I, I I told you uh, no problems with oh, oh sorry it works or or be available to work in weekdays. Okay, is that a, is that experience, Melvin? No, only it's not I, experience. I have to say only works on weekdays. Uh -huh. No. Mm, but that is not experience. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> that is availability. Maybe in experience. Uh, yes. Maybe it could be a, a, a bachelor degree. A bachelor's degree? Yeah, that could be also mm -hmm. kind, some kind of experience at some point. Mm -hmm. I have a bachelor degree and has five years of experience. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe uh, how, uh, know to how organize uh, schedules? No, Melody, no. 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 Listen, listen to this. The experience, right? The experience, it's how long is the time, is about the time, the time that you have performed an activity. For example, my experience as a teacher, it's for 10 years. As an English teacher, it's been, I have been an English teacher for 10 years. So that's my experience, right? That's my experience. But if you ask me, oh, uh, when do you work? Right, I work from Monday to Friday. I don't work on weekends. But that is my schedule, right? My experience is how long I have worked doing the same thing, right? For example, I can ask you, Melvin. Melvin, what is your experience working uh, in, as an administrative in your work? Um, I have eight years. Okay, working. you have eight years of, of eight experience. Years. Yes. yes. Um, mm -hmm. ah, okay, you see, for example, Maria. Maria has one year one year of experience as a principal, as a principal. Wow. but she has 20 years of experience as a teacher mm. ah you see right yes. so i'm not talking about the activities that she performs right 
Rather, I'm 28, talking... 28, teacher. Oh, 28. 28. I'm 28, Maria. <laughs> A long yo tengo, time. <laughs> yo tengo 28, Maria. I'm kidding. <laughs> I wish, I wish. <laughs> so you see, it's, it's the experience, right? The experience is the time. It's the period of time. The long time. Right? That's experience. Okay. Is it clear, maybe? Yes. A little bit? Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You're welcome. Very good. And let's see number three. Uh, let's see number three. Who wants to answer number three? Raul, want to go for it? When does the recruitment and coordinator work? When does the recruitment coordinator work? Mm -hmm. uh, works on weekdays. And works in part time. Okay. On weekdays and works part time. Very good. But mostly, I will say, uh, Raul, right, that we're talking about this. Works on, sorry, Week. works on weekdays because works part time is the schedule. This is the schedule, right? This is the schedule, right. right? So you can say, oh, I work, I work on weekends. I work full time on weekends, right? Or I work part time on weekends or on weekdays. Right? It would depend, right? Okay, very good, very good. Now, what we're going to do right now we are going to work with other people. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, hello. Now, what we're going to do right now is that we are going to work with other people. We are going to choose one. Right now, recruitment coordinator is completed. We only have benefit specialists. We have talent management consultant. Human Resources Generalist, right? What we're going to do as a group, we are going to select one, right? One option, you have three options. Benefit Specialist, Talent Management, Human Resources. You are going to select only one option and based on that option, you are going to answer the same questions. For example, you're going to answer, what does the benefit specialist do? Ah, and then you are going to read and you're going to answer the same three questions. Is that clear what we're going to do? Yes. Yes? Yeah, do yeah. you have questions? Okay, one more time. You are going to select one of these, right? You have four options, no, well, you have three options. Talent management, human resources, and you also have benefit specialist. Benefit specialist. You're going to select only one, and based on that information, you're going to answer the same three questions, right? <clears throat> so you can say, for example, uh, what does the human resources generalist do? <clears throat> Uh, then you have to read again and answer those three questions, but only about one option. Is that clear? Yes? Okay, very yes. good. Let's go ahead and work right now. We're going to work in groups and let's see, three, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to work in groups of three. We're going to work with other people. Let me see. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're going to work like this. So let's just start working right now. Let's get together. Let's get to work. Right? Very quick. <clears throat> the same three questions, okay? These same three questions. Let's go. Let's go, Gabriel.
que tenía razón. Yes, very good, Mary. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start. What uh, benefit specialist? Only benefit specialist. Yes. Or talent manager or human resource. One, exactly. only one. Only one. Only one. You are going to select. Um, Maybe talent manager. What do you say? Okay. Okay. It's very short. <laughs> yes, man, please. It's not short. <laughs> Number one, what does the what talent, does manager, the talent do? manager do? The talent Res responsible responsible for leadership development, career development. Yeah. Yes. Assist. Assist. Performance. Learning and de development. Este está bien enredado, niños. <laughs> Perdón, Raúl. <laughs> how do you read, teacher? How do you read assists? <laughs> Como vos sabes, hoy ya sé lo que, lo que yo hago, la estoy pagando con usted, todos mis alumnos sufrieron conmigo. <laughs> es que en esta profesión no se gana, pero se goza, teacher. That is correct, exacto. No puedo estar más de acuerdo. Ah, ah. Siempre lo he dicho. Y en nuestra no cara, en nuestra cara. <ríe> Está bien. Por eso me gusta la clase. Es el Assesses. comes from assessment. Assessment assesses. Yes. Assessment. Good evening, Alan. Sorry, I'm a little late, but I am a little late. A little. Hey, Alan. Hi, how are you? I see you in check. Okay. No. Alan, teacher, explaining what we're doing. Raúl is going to explain. Okay. Uh, we, are, we are in the we are in the page number thirty, and we are going to talk about talent management consult, and we are going to answer three questions. Uh, you can open the book to see. Yeah, I already. Uh, I'm, I'm already. You're ready. Doing that. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, man. <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, um, uh, Raúl, you need to pronounce this word. Thirty. 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 Listen, listen. Yes, I got it. Listen. Read the information on the HR and person. Give me a moment. Thirty. Thirty ahorita. Thirty. Terry. 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 Como decir Terry, el perrito. Terry, uh -huh. Terry. But, but softer, softer. Terry. 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 Mm -hmm. Terry. 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 <laughs> very good, very good. So Amazing. I will leave you alone for a minute. I'll see you. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Bye. Change the the. Desde el uno estamos. En el presencial, desde el presencial, el presencial. Uh huh. Oh. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Hello. I'm sorry again. <laughs> I start. Okay. okay. Uh, Osmin. Can you please explain to Ellington what we're doing? Eh, what is the activity? <coughs> Se le, vamos a, en, en español. In English. In English. Try, eh, try. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. Eh, I, I select, eh, I select one, 
one talent management consult. Okay. Um, eh, me olvidó. <laughs> In what page of the book we're working, Osmi? In which eh, page? Number 30. Okay, Ellington, go to page 30. Okay, very good. What are, in which exercises are we going to find the questions? In the book. In pair. Uh -huh. uh, the question is in the pair work uh, number five. Number five, very good, Ellington. Very what does the uh, primary coordinator, coordinator do? Do, okay, very good. But right now, Ellington, like Osmith said, we're going to work with the three questions, but about talent management. Right, Osmin? That's the one you chose? Talent management? Okay, very good. Did you finish? No? Almost? Yes, we finish. You finish? Yes. <laughs> okay, Elinto. I'm sorry. You have to do the work by yourself. Please, no, no, guys. no. We, uh, <laughs> let me explain to Ellington. Come okay, on. very <laughs> good. Very good. So I will okay, give you two more minutes so you can continue, okay? That's good. Thank you, teacher. You're right, welcome, let's... Edwin. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, okay, okay uh, Ellington. Y, y the second one. Teacher. Hi. <laughs> Assess is the same like evaluate. Assesses, yes. Assesses Assess performance. Assesses performance. Assesses Assess performance. Assesses performance. Assesses performance. Assess Assess performance. It's the same as evaluate. Oh, Very good. Okay. We, we search synonyms to understand better because it's a, it's a new word for, for us, for all of us. Okay, that's good because you are matching your new knowledge, your new words with previous words, so you connect them. So you I think it works. Yeah, it works. ¿Cómo cree que uno se aprende los nombres de todos los estudiantes en un día? <laughs> ¿Cuántas Carlas y cuántas Corinas cree que he tenido en toda mi vida? ¿Cuántos meses? Mm, a lot. <laughs> Siempre se acuerda de los mamalías. No. Exacto. <laughs> Carla Gabriel, por ejemplo. <laughs> no, yo no. <laughs> Okay, very good. Are you almost done or no? Maybe? Yes, almost done. Yes. Almost done. Oh. Okay, very good. So I will give you two more minutes so we can go back, okay? Okay. Okay. Which, which one did you choose? It's which talent, option? Talent management consultant. <gasps> really? Yes. Oh, okay. Why? <laughs> no, I'm just asking. <laughs> Okay, we have one more minute. Continue. I will be listening. Responsible. Okay. Consultant. And I don't know with the with the with the last one, ladies. When does the the talent management consultant? We have full time job and work on Saturday. Saturday. We yes. we put teacher. It works from Monday to Saturday. Development. You are in it. Development. <laughs> ah. Development. <laughs> works it's on. Correct. Works on Saturday. We write uh, that uh, the talent management work uh, works from Monday to Saturday. Exactly. It's correct. That is mm -hmm. correct. Full time job from Monday yeah. to Saturday. Yes, because they are telling you that you are going, you are not going to have weekends off. You're going to have only one day off. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Only one. One day off. This is the schedule, teacher. In recruitment, hmm? recruitment special. That's the schedule. schedule. Yes, that's oh, a, that's okay. the schedule that this person has. Very good. Okay, so are you almost done? Yes? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. So let's go, let's go. Talent menu station.
Are we ready? Ready. Okay, perfect. So what are the options? Oh no, we have more people waiting. <clears throat> Putting on the notebook. Close, 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 close. Okay, so we're going to start here with the people we have. Right. Right now, what we're going to do is that we're going to share the answers. But first, uh, group number one, Melvin, Melvin's group. Melvin, what is the option that you chose, that you selected? You are on mute, Melvin. <laughs> Sorry. Carmen. <We> selected, uh, <laughs> talent management consultant. Talent management consultant. Edwin, yeah. which one did you select? Talent management consultant too. Okay. Corina, no, Veronica, which one did you select? Uh, benefit specialist. Okay, benefit specialist. Very good. So what we're going to do is that benefit specialist is going to go first and then Edwin, you answer your, your questions and then Melvin's group, okay? Let's just start. Good. Who wants to start from Veronica's group? Uh, who, who is going to give uh, the answers? Uh, start. Me, Alan. me, 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 me. me. Okay, Alan, okay, very good, Alan. Yes. Okay, only the, only the answers, right? Question and answer, question and yeah, answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, what does the benefits specialist uh, do? Right? Mm -hmm. What does the benefits specialist do? Uh, he creates a cost effective benefits program to provide motivation, incentive, effective performance. Okay. Okay, can you please read one more time, Anna, because no. you were cutting off? No. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, uh, what does the, the benefits specialist do? He creates cost-effective benefits program to provide motivation, incentives, and rewards for effective performance. Okay, okay, very good. What else, or only that? What is the what is the benefit specialist uh, experience? Uh, three years uh, he he have three years of experience in this position. It's necessary. Okay, three years of experience. Very three good. Three years of experience. And what else? And the, and the last is when does the benefit specialist work? Uh, he works on weekend weekdays and part time in part in part time job. Okay, he works okay on weekdays for a part time job. For, this is for, like my ah, okay. yeah okay. yeah. This is like my husband. Okay, good, right? Very good. So these these are the answers for benefit specialists. Very nice. I like them. Get, get, get this group an applause. Very good. Right. Now we're going to share the answers for the second group. Give me one moment. Okay. They, well, both groups, they selected talent management consultant. We're going to start with Edwin's and then with Melvin's. Okay. <clears throat> Let's listen. Okay, um, what does the talent management consult do? Mm -hmm. No, Edwin, you answer, you answer. Oh, I, I have to say yeah. the answer too. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. All right, good. Uh, responsible for leadership development, uh, career development, assets performance, uh, learning and development. Okay, very good. Next okay. question. Uh, what is the talent man management consultant experience? Is one year of, of experience. And one what year. does, just one year, 
is basically it's, it's a little bit. Hmm. Uh, when does the recruitment coordinator work? Uh, works on Saturdays and full-time job. On Saturdays and full-time job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's listen to Melvin's group answers. Okay, let's go. Melvin? Okay, okay, sorry. Hey, we have the same uh, answers, teacher. Okay. But in the second one, uh -huh. um, what is the, the talent man management consultant? In addition to, to Edwin and Sales, uh, one year of, of experience, we have uh, works on Saturday. Is that experience, Melvin? Uh, works on Saturdays is not an experience. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm confused again. Yes, and that is not your answer because you gave me a different answer before. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I I wanna say uh, one year of experience and bachelor degree. I wrote okay. bachelor's degree. Yeah, I, okay. I read the, the number three. Okay, very good. Yes, <laughs> sorry. Okay, very good, very good. Also, guys, you can interpret this for works on Saturday, right? It means that besides Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? Thursday and Friday, you have to work on Saturday. So what is going to be the day off for talent management? Only one day. Only one day. Only Sunday. Exactly. Only Sunday. Because this person is like any other Salvadoran that will work how many hours per week? 44 hours. 44, 44 hours. Okay, 44 hours. That's what they do, right? Most, That's what they most do. Of the, most of the people work more hours than that. Exactly. Exactly. Most, of, yes. most people work more than that, right? Like Very me. good. Like me. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> like me. Okay, oh, very good. Now, do we understand the readings? Yes. Yes. It's in the so understandable. Okay. So so. Okay. More so so. More or less. Okay. Kind of. Okay. Kind of. Right. La pasar la la lista. Yes. Sí, las seis son. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put here. Thank you, Edwin. Let me see. Today we don't have many people, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Tienen frío. Yes. Very cold. Okay, well, let's it's see. So cool. <laughs> eh, Esther Maricela well. Orellana Maradiaga. Not here. Raul Francisco Marquez Argueta. Present. Sandra Veronica Herrera Vanegas. Present. Adalilen Hernández de Salmerón. Osmin Alexander Hernández Campos. Present. Elinto Antonio Fuentes Reyes. Present. María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes. Present. Alan Javier Ardón Rivera. Eliton no is my husband teacher. Ah. Husband. <laughs> hey. wow. I have. Have. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó ahí? It's true. It's not my husband. <laughs> wow. No me había fijado. Confessions. <laughs> no, it's not oh. my husband. Ah, no. okay. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. okay. Surprise. Yo dije cama separada, dije, porque cada quien en la habitación. <laughs> que conste que nadie se, y miren las paredes son iguales. Fíjense bien. No. <laughs> nadie se había fijado, mira, ella solita. Uh, Entendí eso. Se echó de cabeza. <laughs> se echó de cabeza, exactly. So, let me see. 
Alan Javier Ardón Rivera. Present. Ok. El sí, José no. Sergio no. Miguel tampoco. Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada. Mayra Noemí Cardosa. Eh, José Antonio Renderos Alfaro. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Present. Zulma Patricia Colato. Eh, te, 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 Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda. Here. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Here. Sandra Corina Miranda Maya. Sí. Elvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Ok, very good. So here we have the attendance for today. No creo que nadie más se nos une, entonces, let's continue. Let's see here. We're going to continue working on... <laughs> we just practice pronunciation here. We read the articles. Now what we're going to do here is that we are going to discuss. This one, you are not going to do anything else, but you are going to talk, right? This is a talking point. So you're going to express your ideas, right? And you're going to try to answer to these questions. He says, discuss any of the questions below. You are going to select two questions to discuss, or if you want to, you can answer the three questions, right? Number one, can you please read the first question, eh, Veronica? Okay. What is the most difficult part of human resource? Resource? Okay. Resources. 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 Very good. Number two, Gabriel. How do you give honest feedback? Very nice. How do you give honest feedback to people? Right. In number three, Alan. How important is the role of human resources? How important is the role of human resources? These are the questions that you are going to discuss. And we're go for us to do that, we are going to work. Let me see how many people I have. Four, eight, eleven. We're going to keep working in groups of three. And we're going to work in groups of two or three right now. And we're going to have different people working with you. Right? Are you ready to discuss? We are not going to write anything. The only thing that we're going to do right now is to speak. Right? First, what is the most difficult part of human resources according to all the information, all the activities? For example, yesterday, yes, yesterday we were talking with Esther, right, that the most difficult part of human resources is when you have to say to the people that they are fired, right? Yeah. They say, okay, I'm sorry, but we don't need you anymore in the company, right? So you, they let you go, right? They lay you off, right? That's, for me, that would be very difficult, right? Another important thing is how do you give honest feedback? For example, uh, in classes, right? In classes, some teachers, they always, we always say like, oh, good, excellent, perfect. But we don't tell you when you have to improve. So how do you, do you say to, us, to a person that they need to practice? For example, hey, Raul, practice this pronunciation or uh, please repeat after me, right? How do you give honest feedback? And the last one is how important is the role of human resources? Do you think human resources is important? Yes, sure. yes. no, and how? How yes. important is? is Is it very important? That's what we're going to discuss. Like I said, you don't have to write anything. It's just speaking, okay? Okay, let's start right now then, right? Let's just start working. Let me change you again one more time. Very good. Let's just start. Let's get to the groups. Choose your group. Choose your people. Remember to take the questions. Wait, 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 wait. 
screenshot the questions, screenshot the questions. Let's go. Hello, Corina. Did you screenshot the questions? Corina? Difficult part of human resource. In, uh, in what page is that? Terry. Terry. Um, Terry. Oh, my camera. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk. You're too quiet. Remember, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes, okay? I'm going to drink some water. Sorry. What is the most difficult part of human resource? I think is the say bye-bye the person. How do you say, teacher, is your contract is end? Like that? It's okay, I think. We think that, oops, sorry. My music is activated. Just give me one moment. Uh, maybe is this much difficult? I don't know. What do you say, Osmin and Carla? Mm -hmm. I, I think the most difficult activities um, is when they fire. Uh -huh, they have a fire employees or maybe they they have um oh, okay your content is different um when they forget uh, uh social activities Maybe. <clears throat> I think when the parent is dead, is dead, teacher? Hmm? When parents, uh, uh -huh. par partner, when partner is a dead, is a dead? Oh, when a partner is dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. When your, your co-workers. No, it's a morirse. Uh -huh. Cuando un compañero se muere, pienso que eso es difícil para, oh, para yes. el grupo y el departamento de recursos humanos tiene que saber manejar esto, ¿no? Yes, it is difficult to announce. Ay, el chucho. To announce. <laughs> it's a beautiful the chuchos teacher. <laughs> no, I mean, they are beautiful. But no, while I'm teaching, it's always like that. Every time I am teaching, the, the dog from the neighbor is barking. I okay. want a uh, one dog. Uh, pas <laughs> chips. Pastor, uh, oh. pastor chip is pastor mm -hmm. no, A shepherd. German chip. Uh, German yes. chip. Okay. That's it's a big, but it's silent. Um, how do you Then, say cuando una, pers una persona muere del grupo de trabajo? Mm -hmm. That's, that's what I'm writing here. Pass, pass. Go away. Look at this. It is difficult to announce that a co-worker's family member has passed away. No, passed away. Mm -hmm. Passed away pass, is synonymous away. to that. Ah. To die, uh, okay. but to it's die. a little bit more like okay, they have passed, right? Uh, passed okay. away. So it is difficult to announce. una capital letter. It is difficult to announce that a co-worker's family member has passed away. Or you can say it is difficult to say condolences to express condolences. I'm so sorry for your loss. Right. 
Mm, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. That is difficult. Very good. Yes. Antonio is trying to mm. join in, but he's never joining in correctly. Okay. Let me go to another group right now. Okay, okay. I will see you in a moment. Hello, Antonio. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Antonio, if you can hear me, I need you to go with the rest of the group, okay? I already assigned you to a, a group, so please go. Can you hear me, Antonio? I cannot hear you. No le escucho, Antonio. Únase al grupo. Ya le, ya le envié ahí la invitación para que se una al grupo de trabajo. No le escucho. Puede unirse al grupo de trabajo, por favor. Ya le envié la invitación para que se una. I, I, tengo que ir a monitorear los otros grupos. Necesito que se una el grupo que se le asignó, ¿ok? De acuerdo. Ok, perfecto. Tell Rose something about in compares. Hey, who is hey. there? Ah, the means. Hi, me. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hey. teacher. Good. Did you finish the activity? How are you? Good. We are, no? we are talking about... We are talking about the third, yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah. Almost, almost done. Okay, okay, perfect. You will be group number one. Almost done, right. Okay. <laughs> no, miss. <laughs> Why? Because you are okay. almost done. No, we, we don't, we are on the second question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions right now? Yeah. Uh, 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 no. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are talking with Alan and me uh, about the question number two. Mm -hmm. How do you give honest feedback? Mm -hmm. uh, this question is about the last work. Yes, but the, ex the experience that you have in the last work. Uh huh. No, not really. Yeah. For example, let's suppose let's suppose that Alan is the principal from a school, and you are the teacher, right? And Alan, and uh, for example, Raúl is always going late to work, right? He doesn't prepare his classes. Uh, he's very lazy. He's falling he's asleep now. every time in the classes. Is not teaching very well, right? And then yeah. Alan is the principal, right? I need to so he needs to supervise. Him. Exactly. He I needs to supervise. Him. And exactly. Alan needs to tell Raul, needs to tell you, hey, Raul, you're doing a bad what job, is, right? What is his responsibilities? Exactly. You need to tell him his responsibility. But sometimes, mm -hmm, sometimes, for example, the, the like the supervisors, managers, or directors, mm, they sometimes don't give you honest feedback, right? Okay. So it means that they don't tell you what you're doing incorrectly, right? Or yeah. or they don't tell you, but they tell the others. Let's say Alan that you don't tell Raul, but you can. Hey Sylvia, you know what? Raul is not doing his job, and you're talking like with me, but you don't tell him. So that's not okay. honesty, 
right? That's not on the chambrerie you need, okay? Right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so okay. that's honest feedback. So do you have any ideas on how to give honest feedback? Yes. What would you do in that scenario? That that's an important point because my boss, my my mm -hmm. my my boss is always uh, in a few part of the year. Uh, mm -hmm. In some point of the of, of the year, uh, he give us feedback, and at the final, when we when 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 our contract is over, uh, he give us. He give to us a. He gives to us a feedback too. Okay, to actually that. that's good. That's good. Yeah, in that's, some, good. that's really good. For example, in my previous job, they never gave me feedback. Okay. So I was telling them, okay, how can I improve? Because you want to be better, right? If yeah. they don't give you feedback, it's also bad. Feedback can be good, and feedback can also be bad, right? So okay. you can have positive feedback and negative, negative feedback. feedback. And, oh, and the human resource mm -hmm. and the human resource be uh, honest in this feedback. True. Exactly. All human resources they need to be honest because in other like in some companies they invent the information or they just say, "Oh, Alan is good. Yes, whatever." Right? And maybe they haven't checked his work. Maybe Alan needs to prepare more classes. Maybe he's always on time, but he needs some areas of opportunity, right? some areas to improve. Okay? Okay. Very good. Okay. Thanks. Okay, continue talking. You're welcome. You have one more minute so you can continue speaking, okay? One okay, more minute. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi. I feel a little sleepy. Sorry, but. Me too. <laughs> you too. Okay. okay, I'll see you in a moment. You have two okay. minutes. Okay. Employees. Money. Management payroll, the employees. Resolve a conflict with co Very good. Very good, buddy. Uh -huh. I have a question. Oh, this thing is not working today. What happened? <laughs> Semi kind. You have uh -huh. doubt. Uh -huh. What is your uh -huh. doubt? Cuando queremos decir despedir gente o despedir empleados, podemos ocupar fired employees. They have to oh, be auxiliary. Huh? Is the is the correct word or is a auxiliary? No, that is correct. That is correct. You have many ways to say that. For example, you can say that uh, you can talk to a person. Hey, Veronica, you know what? You are fired. Okay. Right. Veronica, okay. you are fired. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> they will tell you. <laughs> no, Francisco, they will tell you go to hell. <laughs> they will tell you go to hell <laughs> if, they, <laughs> if they are very, very, very angry yeah. with you. Okay. Like, oh. <laughs> fire, fire, employee. Fire. You are fire. fired. Fire. Or. Fire. Or they can tell you also no, your contract no. is being terminated. Like, you know what? Juan Francisco, your contract is being terminated. We don't need. Porque lo traduce, si Sorry. Eso nos ayuda, <laughs> your contract is being terminated means like we don't need you anymore in the company for example during the during COVID-19 many 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 contracts have been terminated 
they say, you know what, we don't have money. So your contract is a no no anymore. Right? Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, you. You're welcome. Any other question, Juan Francisco? No? No. no. Okay. So let's go. I think we need to go to the with the rest of the group. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. okay. Hello. Hi, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Let's share right now the answers to the questions. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation, all of us. So tell us, right? I don't like it like this. Let's see. I'm gonna make it smaller. Okay, so tell us, what is the most difficult part of human resources? What do you think is the most difficult part of human resources? Anybody, tell me the answer. Remember right now we're just talking, so don't worry. You can can I give you my answer? Absolutely, go ahead. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, Melvin and Ellington, we were discussing. Mm -hmm. well, well, the word, the worst things is uh, to fire someone. That's the that's the bad thing of the human uh, part of the human resources. Okay. Uh, we 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 discuss another one. Um, that it's um, they 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 has to choose the correct people at the time you are going to interview someone, because uh, you need to choose the right people to work in the company. And that's a, that's a difficult part of human resources. Hire people, mm -hmm. choosing new people. Choosing new people, yes. Yeah, that's, you, you to, that's mm -hmm. difficult, you're right. Yes. That's totally difficult. I, okay, so we have fire people, choosing new people. Okay. Okay. Firing new people. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. What else? Edwin, choose another person. For the same uh, question. Francisco. Okay, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> organizing training for all employees. Oh, that's difficult too? Okay. okay. Organizing trainings because you need to select which is the best training, okay? Organizing <laughs> trainings. Very good. What else, Francisco? Only that? Uh, yes, I believe. Okay, very good. Choose another person. Um, Carla. Carla. Gabriela. Uh, I think it's difficult to announce that co workers family member has passed away. Announcing, okay. That a co workers, co workers. Family member has passed away. He passed away is when someone has died, right? When someone is not here anymore. Very good. Okay. Now let's move to question number two. Carla Gabriel, choose another group. Um, Raul. Raul's group. Okay. Very good. What do you Please have? Raul. You, Raul? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raul, who? <laughs> yeah. uh, the question number two. Mm -hmm. How do you give? Uh, how do you give uh, honest feedback? I think that when I arrive, uh, very, very. When I arrive at time at my work. Okay. I, I give a very good a very good feedback for my for my boss and the boss uh, it all very good for me because I I am make a, a good job okay. and, and the feedback is positive and negative because if is I arrive very late uh, the boss uh, is going to talk 
bad about me. Uh, I think. Okay, very good, very good, yeah. Raul. Uh -huh. You did a great job. In this case, right, this is a scenario. This is an example of what can happen, right, if, if you know, for someone to give you feedback, right? In this case, if Raul arrives on time every day, what do you think it, the feedback is going to be? The feedback is going to be good or bad? Good, good. It's going to be good, right? Because he's on time, right? So the boss is going to tell you probably, Raul, you're doing a great job. Most of the time they don't tell you good feedback, right? They don't tell you you're doing great. They just tell you the bad things, but feedback is for good and new things, right? But in this case, right? What you're doing here, right? Is that you're given in a scenario, Raul. Okay, very good. Choose another person, Raul, to answer the same question. Other person, Sandra Veronica. Sandra Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. <laughs> okay, I think provide provide all tools to get a good discipline in the job. Provide okay by providing okay providing all tools to get. To do a great job. Okay, very good. That's actually a way of giving honest feedback, right? When you give the people the tools. For example, in your job, if you work from home, right? They cannot tell you to do a great job if they don't give you a computer, for example. Right? So they give us the feedback is not honest because they don't give you the tools. Okay, very good. Now let's move to question number three. Veronica, choose another person. Uh, I know How important is the role of human resources for your group, Edwin? Well, we discussed that it's very important that each company has to uh, roll human resources. Because Why? It's, uh, it's because um, it, it's, it, uh, it's how you are going to complain when you, when you have some issues, uh, you resolve together with human resources. Okay, very well, good. It could be like this. Okay, very good, yeah. that's nice to resolve mm -hmm. conflicts, mm -hmm. right? To resolve work yes. conflicts, mm -hmm. for example, right? Very good. Now let's see here okay. another person, Edwin, choose another person that has not participated. Mel Melvin. Melvin. Melvin, Melvin. Go, mm -hmm. go with number three. I forgot to write your answer. <laughs> to resolve conflict, okay. Oops. Go Melvin. Teacher, we talk uh in addition to to Edwin says that this important uh, have uh this department mm -hmm. to listen the people necessities ah listen Not only uh -huh. listen the people necessities uh, uh -huh. not uh, another one uh, maintain in order the the activities of the environment Okay, maintain the order. Okay, very good. Environment. Okay, very good. Just the last person, Edwin. Uh, oh, sorry, Alan. Melvin. Oh, okay, go, go, Alan, go, Alan. Me? Yes. Yes. Melvin says you. No, no Edwin. <laughs> Edwin responds, no Melvin. Melvin, choose Not Alan. Me. No. Alan. Okay. okay, thanks, Melvin. <laughs> okay. How important is the role of human resources? 
Uh, we, we were talking about with Raul of that, that probably it's one of the most important part of the company. Probably it's a, it's a kind of a heart of the company. Okay. They, they, they uh, have a really, really big, big responsibility because they choose uh, the, the new employees. Okay. And that that's that's really important because it's the, it's it's probably the soul of the company all all the employees they they recruit them very good okay they recruit all the employees very yeah. nice okay so you see we have different answer different information all this is related to human resources and you have used the vocabulary that we have been practicing so far very nice Give an applause to all of you. Very good, you did a great job. This is for everyone, right? And now we will continue working. Don't think that we're not going to work, we're going to work. Now, this one here is an exercise from your book. Can you see it? Uh, Can you see yes. it? No, not yet? Yes. 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 Oh, sorry. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What about now? Yes. 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 Okay, it says there, fill in the following forms based on your client's main information. Ask and answer questions. This is on page 31, right, Maria? Yes, page 31. We have this table. Yes, teacher. Yes, right? Now, we yes. have this table here. And with this table, what we're going to do it says there RC company, but we don't know anything about RC company. What we're going to do right now is that we're going to ask this information to one of our classmates, right? For example, if I have the information of job title, what is a possible question that I can do or I can make to ask for a job title? What can I ask? For example, you know that I am a teacher. So what is the question that you can ask me to know that? What is your job title? Okay, you can say, what is your job title? I'm an English teacher. Okay, very good. That's one option. What would be another option? Mm -hmm. Yes, Raul? You want to well, ask for a job title. So what will be another option? Chef. Mm -hmm. Corina? Which yes, are Maria? your studies? Which are your studies? Okay. Mm, but that will tell you, you know, some part of the information because remember that sometimes people don't work right they don't have a job so if you ask about the studies right they might tell you oh, i have a bachelor of arts but i don't have a job so i don't have a job title right okay you can have a bachelor's in teaching english but if you don't have a job you don't have a job title you are not an english teacher yet right so I can ask you a very easy question from level two. What do you do? That's a question. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do, Raul? Uh, the word location. No, what do you do? I am ICT. You see, that's the job title. Job title, ICT. ICT, ICT specialist. What do you do, Alan? Uh, I am a basketball coach. I... Okay. Job title, basketball coach. Basketball coach, yes. Right. What do you do, Maria de Jesus? Um, I don't know. Is um, I am a principal. Very good. Job title, principal. Ah, you see? Very easy, right? Remember, that's the question that you do to talk about 
your activities, your what you do every day, right? And then we ask work location. What is a possible question for work location? Where is your work location? Where is your work location? Well, what is another one, Edwin? Uh, Melvin? Where is located your job? Where is your job located? Uh, where, where is, is your, job your job located? That's another one. What's another option, Veronica, Osmin? I don't hear you talking, Antonio. If I say work location, what's a possible answer? <laughs> Where do you work? Where do you work? Very good, Juan Francisco. Where do you work? I work at you know, I work in a supermarket. I work in Super Selectos. So ah. where, mm -hmm. where is your work at? Where is your work at? In my beautiful house. <laughs> <laughs> I work from home. Right? So that's where you have to answer, right? Now. What we're going to do is going to be a little bit difficult because you have to make the question, right? And complete the information on the table on page 31. So you have to do two things, right? But we're going to do our best right now. I'm going to put you in pairs so we can practice. No. We're going to work in groups of three, so you can talk more, okay? But in your in your page, right? In your page, you're going to try to answer at least if in my group I'm working with Juan, I'm working with Raul and with Veronica, I'm going to try to answer at least one information from my classmates, okay? I need to gather, collect information from my classmates. So I can select, right? So you're going to make the questions and the answers. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, are you sure? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Raul is clear, Sandra Veronica is clear. What about the others? Yes, Osmin, Gabriel. Okay, let's start. Let's try to do this. Remember, page 31, you have the form, you have to complete the information on the table, but you have to also write the questions on your book, right? We are going to try. It doesn't matter if the answers are incorrect. We're going to, to try to create the questions, okay? Let's do it. We can do it. Let's work in groups of three right now. Give me one moment. Okay. Okay, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's start, let's start, let's start. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> we're going to fill mm -hmm. we're going to fill the the profile form Raul Raul the feedback <laughs> Hola. do you have a question guys uh, no. no, we're talking about the, the points. Okay. I am so very high. You are very high. Okay, <laughs> estaba hablando en voz alta. Estaba pensando um, en voz alta. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you say, Raúl, if you say that you are high, that means that you are in drugs. So no. You're <laughs> You dope, dude. <laughs> you you dope. Uy, está temblando otra vez. You are talking no. very loud. No, pues no. yo no me bajo la super. Es que viene así despacio, ya, ya va a temblar ahí por mi 
Okay, it's like that. The following forms based on. You are talking very loud. Right. Okay. What is your talk? Very loud. Talking very loud. For example, sometimes it's very... you're whispering, but they say, hello, everyone. So you're talking very loud. Right? Okay. Okay. We are going to talk very loud now. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay. Okay, Raul, what is what is your job title? Man? I am uh, ICT. Raul. ICT, what is that, man? Uh, TIC. ICT? The area uh, technology, uh, information uh, communication technologies. Ah, okay. Great. ICT area. 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 Very good. Very good. Oh, ICT okay. area. Very okay. nice. Great. Great. ICT area. Okay. And where? Okay. Very good. In the number two, maybe what do you work? Where do you work? Where? Where do you where? work? Where? Uh -huh. where? Yeah. <laughs> where, where do you work? Question. In in my case, I work in Aldeas Infantiles, SOS. Um, in my case, um, Unicomer Corporate. Mm -hmm. Write the answers. Write the questions and write the answers. Write okay. both. Okay? Write both. Okay. Questions and answers. Questions and answers. Do you have do you have a question right now about the activity? Um, eh, reports to es como eh, número de contacto o a quien no. se le puede llamar. No, for example, se... for example. I report to Elena. She is my supervisor. Ah, okay. The boss. The, exactly. The, the, the boss. Very good. The, the boss. boss. Oh, okay. That's correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Thanks. Okay. You, Anton, have a question for a teacher? And you, Antonio? No? No question. No questions. No questions. Elita? No? Um, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will see you in a minute then. See you, see you. Okay. See you, see you okay. in two minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Uh, I report to my leader. And you, Francisco? Uh, wait for me. Uh, report to um, my boss. Excellent, excellent. I report to my boss. Very good. I report to my supervisor. I report to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Car Carla. <laughs> You who do say, you, who do what you did you say? To? What did you what? say? I report to report, uh -huh, yes. my leader okay. of the team. My team leader. Team leader. My team leader. My uh -huh. team leader. I don't have er eraser. <laughs> team leader. Team leader. Very good. Okay. Full time. It's raining. Time? It's raining. Yeah. It's really. Dark. Cats and dogs. Dark. Very hot. Okay. You will say in English, Osmi. It's raining. Cats and dogs. It's when we say in some in, in Spanish when we say. Está lloviendo, está lloviendo sapos y culebras. 
<laughs> it's raining cats and dogs. It is raining where you are? Here is, I think. No, it's not raining. Is it raining there? Or only where Osmin lives? Only Osmin. Sí. Sobre la casa de. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, it's raining cats and dogs. Okay, Yasmin, don't forget that. Okay. Very good. Mm. Eh, Juan Francisco, wake up. <laughs> yes, I drop off in my chair. Yeah, don't, 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 don't fill up your chair. <laughs> Do you have any questions right now? No? no. Are you done? Do you finish? No, yet. No, not yet. yet. Okay. I will be back to you, Hola, okay? Full, okay. Full time or part time? It's a full time. Only, no. No, 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 Yes, and in, in who who is your your boss? Yeah. Who, who is, is your that? boss? Uh -huh. Aquí en uh, quién se reporta, Sandra Corina? Don't translate. Oh, yeah, it is um, uh, prestas, pre beneficios, prestas. No, no, no. That's not the question. That's not the question. Listen. Hey, can you ask me the question, Melvin? Uh, yes. Um. Who is your your boss? Uh, the 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 title of your boss, with okay. with whom you report to? I report to my supervisor. Her name is Elena. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have a supervisor. Yes, I have a supervisor. Sometimes uh, she is in the class. Oh. <laughs> how, how about you, Sandra Corina? Who is your boss? In this in this case, uh, Corina, what we what we are talking about is, for example, the person like is your boss, right? Do you have a boss? Look yeah. at this. Okay, so if you say that you have a boss, so you report to your boss. Let's suppose, okay. Let's suppose that I am, I don't know, I am, uh, I am, a, well, I am a teacher, of course, and Edwin is the principal, right? And Melvin is the supervisor, right? So I am the teacher, Corina. I am the teacher. I am going to report to my supervisor. My supervisor is Melvin. But Melvin is going to report to Edwin because mm -hmm. Edwin is the principal, right? And Edwin is going to report to the Ministry of Education. And oh, well. is <laughs> Okay, so we have a boss always. So who do you report to? It has to be a person. Okay. Okay, um, when you say, usted está diciendo... Usted está diciendo report como un reporte. No, no estamos usando eso como reporte en este momento. Recuérdese que las palabras en inglés tienen diferentes significados. Por ejemplo, una palabra puede tener hasta 20 significados distintos dependiendo del contexto. Entonces, no se, no, no case una palabra solamente con un significado. En este caso, estamos hablando de a quién usted prácticamente le está diciendo cómo hace su trabajo diariamente, right? 
For example, for example, I'm, I am going to write the information on the, on the chat, right? Listen, every day I report my job to my supervisor. Her name is Elena, right? So, uh, Edwin, who do you report to? Let's invent, Edwin. I know that you don't report to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay, the boss. Um, I'm, I'm the boss. Okay, I, I report to, to Blanca de Escobar. Ah, Edwin reports to Blanca de Escobar. Hmm? Okay. Every morning at 8. Okay, every morning at 8. Very good. At 8 a.m. And what about, oops, sorry. Sorry, at 8 a.m. Okay, very good. What about you, Melvin? Who do you report to? I report to the uh, marketing director, the director. Melvin reports to, listen. Melvin reports to the marketing director. Oh my goodness. He, he, he is my boss. He is his boss. And what is his name? Uh, he's Manuel Iglesias. His name is? His name is Manuel Iglesias. Manuel. Okay. Ma Manuel George is not Manuel Iglesias. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you see the examples, Corina? Uh-huh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, okay and report uh, Francisco Javier. Okay. And, and uh, a counter. Okay. The, and a benefit. Okay. Benefit for um, workers. About the benefits of the workers, okay? Very good. So you see, we're we're actually providing information, right? Of who do you report to? Very good, very good. So now let's go. Let's go with the others because it's almost it's almost ten people. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's continue with the others. Let's go. Let's go. Can you see me? Yes. Yes. It's because it says here that my internet is unstable. Es la primera vez que me sale eso, so I don't know. Si se corta, vamos a tener clase el sábado, ya la regamos. Okay. <laughs> no, please. No, no, tengo clases de Excel. Le voy a recargar ahí para que no se para le corte. Que, para que no se le corte. Eh, el yeah. sábado estoy bolo, yo no puedo. ¿Ah? <risa> Ayer me traumó con ese diálogo y ahora amenazándome. <risa> no, no, no. Too much information, Edwin. Don't be like that, María. <risa> <risa> Too much information. I just play, teacher. Come on. Uno bolo y la otra con miedo. The good thing is that one is going to give me a recarga. Okay. Okay. So, I know that this was a difficult exercise, I know. But would you like to share some of the, the maybe not everything, but some of the questions that you have? Who wants to share some of the questions? Okay. My child, <laughs> my little child, mommy, 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 queriendo poner que. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now, <laughs> who wants to share the first answer? Like, give it, give us an example of a question maybe that you created and the possible answer. 
Let's see here. Let's start with uh, Maria. Maria, who was your partner? <laughs> Maria. It's Alan and Raul Francisco. Okay, very good. So tell us one question and one answer that you found, that you created. Yes? Uh, what is your theater? What is? Uh, your theater. Theater is, is okay, teacher? Mm, what do you mean? Can you spell that for me? What, what is? is your job? What is oh. your job? Uh, Title. Okay. Title. 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 Title, very good. Okay, title. and what is the answer? The Raul, your title is his uh, ET. Information Raul. technology. And Alan is basketball coach and basketball assistant. He's a basketball, okay, basketball coach, right? And assistant. Very good. Very good. Now, choose Maria. Choose another another person to to tell us another questions. Another question. Uh, Sandra Corina. Okay. Uh huh. Corina. City. Um. What do you do? What do you work? Where do you work? Very good. Where do you work? Where do you work? And what are some possible answers, Corina? Um, I I work in, in San Salvador or I, I work in University of El Salvador. Okay. I work in University of El Salvador. Very good. That's a possible answer. Very good, Corina. Corina, choose another person. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. Um, who do you report to? Who? Oh, this is a perfect question. Who do you report to? Hmm? Okay. In this case, uh, Mel uh, Melvin, he reports to Mercury and Director. His name is Manuel Iglesias. To the marketing director. His name is Manuel. Okay. Very good. Another question. Edwin, choose another person. Uh, uh, Raul Francisco. Raul Francisco. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, which department do you work? Which department? Department. Do you work for? Which department do you work for? Okay. I work in technology. Area. I work in technology area. Technology. In this case, it will be technology department because you asked for the department. Not technology department. Okay, yes. very good. And what about what about Maria? What department does she works for? I mean, if, Can you ask her? Uh, Maria work in administrative department. Maria works. No, I work in the education department. She is a principal. Okay, in the education <laughs> department. Ya le puso Sorry, the Maria. <laughs> She is a education. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So this is the type of questions that we're going to make. 
right? Do you have one more? I would choose another another person here. Uh, Ellington. Ellington. Hello, Ellington. Report two. Okay, what is the question? Um, how is your uh, your job, your your boss, or your principal for report two, for example? Okay, who is your boss? Okay, very good. Who is your boss, or the person? The, the person. Uh, the person. You report to. You report to. That's a very nice question. Who is your boss or the person you report to? This, guys, this question is, is the same question like this, but with different words, right? Different words. Who is your boss or the person you report to? Very good. And what's the answer there, Elinton? Um... I don't know, remember. <laughs> Who do you report to? Audi, Audi, Elia. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Audi, Elia. This is my boss. My boss is Audi, Elia. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> my boss is, my boss is Audi, Elia. Okay, very good. So these are examples of questions that we can make every day, right? But these are questions that we, can, can, that we can use to start a conversation in our workplaces, right? These are difficult questions that you are creating, right? They are difficult questions, and sometimes it's hard to understand. So what I need you to do every day, guys, is to read your book, read the previous class, read all, you know, your book, your notes, so you can remember the vocabulary. Right. That's the only way that you can do that. Right now, uh, for tomorrow, right here, give me one second here. Okay, in the book, in your book, we have this activity, right? We have some definitions. Oh, it's not this. Can you see my, my computer? Yes. Yes. Can you see I'm moving here? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Now we have unit three, right? And on page 32, on page 32, we have this small exercise. This is vocabulary for human resources, but it's going to be very easy for you because you already read this information. Look at this benefit specialist, talent management. You already have this information in your brains, right? So what you're going to do is that you are going to connect, you're going to match the definitions with the information on part number three, right? So for example here, if we think about recruiting coordinator, recruiting coordinator, what is the best answer that you can find here for recruiting coordinator? based on the on, on the information that we have studied today. What it, what would be the best answer? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Maybe the last one, teacher. The science and include implements overall the creating strategies. Okay, very good. Maybe the last one, right? Because it's related, it's very, very similar. To what we have practiced mm -hmm. today so what we're going to do is that we're going to match this is going to be on your book but i'm going to ask you the first thing that that's, that will be the first activity tomorrow okay and in the forum this is what you're going to do in the forum you're going to write sentences about people in your company using the information that we that we have studied today right for example we can say that in, um, a basketball coach, right, always, he has to always be on time 
to help the, the people from the different teams, right? Or we can ask Alan, what does he do, right? So we can write the information here. It says here that you're going to write six sentences in the forum, in the discussion forum, on, in the platform, you are going to write three sentences about the people in your company, okay? Only three. Questions and answers, teacher. It, no, just the, the sentences. Just the sentences. Mm -hmm. For example, Melvin, he can talk about his boss, right? Right? The director of marketing in my company, he does this, this, and this, right? And you write one sentence about this person, then another person, and another person here, right? Only three sentences in the, in the forum, in the discussion for tomorrow. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Very good. Now we're going to stop the class here today. Do you have any questions before we go? Uh, no. No? No questions? You're very no. tired. You look very tired. Esta semana me lo tiene mal. Okay, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's go. Have a beautiful night. Let's sleep well. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. Thanks. Okay. Have a beautiful bye. night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Take care. Practice on the computer, yes. please. Tomorrow. Ah, yes. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Es que casi no escuché muy bien, pero en el, en el ejercicio que vamos a hacer, eso es solo para practicar en... en, en este no, no. Es, es que no le entendí muy bien esa parte que me estaban hablando aquí. Los dos, los dos ejercicios, el primero de, de las definiciones, de definitions, that's, that's a homework. We have to do that at home porque va a ser lo primero que vamos a revisar mañana. Y el de hacer las oraciones sobre los, sus compañeros de trabajo, eso va para el It's discussion nice. forum. Ahí dice seis ah. preguntas. Vamos a hacer las seis en el, en el, en el módulo. Pero en el, en, la, en el discussion forum, I just need three. Ah, ok. Mm. Ahí va a ser solo las, las oraciones, dice. Exactly, exactly. Y aquí donde dice vocabulary practice, eso solo lo vamos a hacer, digamos, si yo lo quiero hacer en mi cuaderno, uh -huh. este, no hay ningún problema, no es que tengo que subirlo a alguna plataforma ni oh, nada. Ahí en, 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 su, en su, pero ¿por qué se lo voy a preguntar mañana? Ah, ok, very good. Okay, very good. <laughs> Okay. You're welcome. Bye bye, guys. Take care. What, See you. What is the number of the page, teacher? Elito. What is the number of the page, Veronica? 32? 32. Ah, 32. Page 32. Eh, pasa, Elito. Sorry. Yo vi que Elito ya estaba dormido. Sí, cabal. Bueno. Bye. Okay, guys. I'll let you go. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye.